So we are back. We are back. Welcome to Sunday, everyone. This is 1814 Dreadyhead. And as always, I have to welcome all brand new subscribers. Welcome back all current subscribers. We have some more articles that are coming in, making the rounds on social media. So we're going to do a couple of videos today and talk about it. And a couple of them actually have video footage. So that's a joy because a lot of people, um, although I do read the stories, some of you guys do like reading the stories as well. Some have told me that they like it when I read it so they don't have to. And other people, they like when I read and then they can go and click the video and watch. Uh, this is coming in from TMZ. And it says here, violent dog napping. A woman clings to a speeding car after French bulldog was stolen. And there is video footage of this. I'm going to read a little bit. As you know, the article and link will be below for you to read and to watch the video footage. And remember, always come back and tell me what you think about it. Put yourself in that position and let me know, would you do what you're seeing being done? It says, uh, when a French bulldog was stolen right from under the owner's feet, she took matters into her own hands with the dog's mom clinging to the hood of the thieves' speeding getaway car. Miss Ali Zacharias was enjoying lunch at a Whole Foods in downtown L.A. with her French bulldog Onyx sitting by her feet under the table when a woman walked up and began calling for the dog. Turns out she was a dog napper and grabbed the leash and began walking away. Allie initially thought it was a simple case of mistaken identity and started calling out, excuse me, that's my dog. When the woman ignored her and continued walking away, Ali gave chase, but the woman jumped in a nearby getaway car that was lying in wait. Allie tried to enter the car, but it was packed with other people. They shoved Allie out of the locked doors. Ali stood in front of the vehicle and screamed for help, but no one came. The driver took off, knocking Ali onto the hood of the speeding vehicle while she clung on for dear life. The car went several blocks before making a sharp turn, violently throwing Ali from the hood of the car into the street. And that is where we're going to stop reading. Remember, the link will be below along with the article, and there is video footage of this. Now, what I want to do, and again, this is going to be a short video because I want you guys really to start uh, jumping in more and participating more. There's a lot of you that are on the page, and I'm looking every day to see who's participating and not. And the reason I'm looking is because when I start doing giveaways, I'm only going to be looking at certain people who are participating on each one of the videos. And if I don't see that participation from the very first video that I've done all the way to where I am now, you won't be included in any of the giveaways that I do. All right. And I'm not making it. It's not a threat or anything like that. It's just that the people that participate are the ones that I'm going to see first. Now, I'm all for someone stole your bulldog. Someone stole your purse. Someone stole something and you say, hey, that's mine. I want it back. Where I have an issue is not necessarily walking behind the person because you really don't know what their actions could be. Someone could be trying to steal something from you and you're trying to get it back and you can get shot or stabbed in the process. So that wasn't a smart move for her. I understand that French Bulldogs are very expensive. They are adorable animals, but they're very expensive. And yes, we have a lot of people who do go around stealing animals, French Bulldogs, Poodles, Chihuahuas, and more. They're just stealing them and they're selling them wherever they can, if they can. So I get that part of it. When you're walking up to a car, an unmarked car, with black tinted windows and you're trying to get in the car and you don't know who's in that car, that's another bad move, just in my position. What if they roll down the windows and they shoot you? Was it worth it? And then if you don't survive it, it really wasn't worth it. So that was another bad mistake. So you followed. That was really bad. You got to the car and you're trying to pull the car open. The people inside are shoving you out and they're pushing you. That was bad. And then you get in front of the car only for the car to hit the gas because you probably thought they were going to go backwards. They went forward. They knocked you on the hood. You're holding onto the hood for your dear life and they turn really sharp and it throws you and you could have died from that. I'm going to be honest, just in how I feel, had I put myself in that position, there is no way in hell 
that I'm going to put myself in that much danger for that dog. I love dogs. I grew up with them. I'm thinking about getting another one as we speak, but I haven't decided yet. But I would not put myself in a position that if someone steals my dog, I'm going to start chasing them because I don't know what they could have on them that could hurt me and kill me in the process, nor will I run up on a dark tinted window car, not knowing what would happen if they open the door, roll down the windows. And I'm definitely not going to allow myself to get hit by that car thrown on the hood. And I'm holding on to the hood as if I'm some kind of superhero. And then they turn and it throws me and you can die from that. So, all bad decisions. All bad decisions. I get it. You love your animal, but all bad decisions. Uh, this is 1814 Dread Ahead. Everything is going to be below, of course. I want to know what you guys think about when you read the article or, and when you click the video. I just want to know what you think about it. Put yourself in that position. Would you have done any of the three things that this individual did? And if you would, tell me why. All right. This is 1814 Dread Ahead. Everything will be below. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.